So you want to know how to detect a tornado on radar using velocity, or basically just knowing what a velocity signature is on radar. So what is velocity to begin with? Velocity is essentially a sense or basically a radar scope that is used to detect winds um, traveling either towards the center um, radar or away from the radar. And what I mean by center radar is basically the radar's location. So there are two primary colors that we use. We use red or green. Red means winds are traveling away from the radar. Green is essentially winds are heading towards that radar's location. So here's a sample map of what that would look like just in general um sometimes it can look a little flawed um as to just the different filters and stuff but as storm systems start moving into the region you can see some red starts to form and some green now in order to detect a tornado it is very important that you don't look at this broad scheme of things that you look in depth and this is a good example as to what i mean you can see some very concentrated reds and some very concentrated greens very close together. Um, some enhanced reds and some enhanced greens on top of those other colors, as you can see. If you just see those and there's a, like a brighter, you know, mix of those two colors in one particular area within a supercell thunderstorm or just a squall line in general, that signifies rotation. Now, that doesn't always signify a tornado is confirmed 100% on the ground. Now, you can see um, this is essentially what a strong bit of rotation will look like on velocity radar you can see some very very like almost like pink like colors and some very bright like lime colors um just squished right next to each other you can even see a little bit of um some orange and a little bit of white mixed in there that is a, some very enhanced rotation so the chances of a tornado being on the ground in that picture are actually a lot higher than what it would be in this picture like i said the more intense both of those colors are together especially in a smaller more concentrated area and not in a more broad sense like um, such as that, that does signify that the rotation would be stronger and the tornado could possibly be on the ground. So that is how you detect it. Hope you guys enjoyed this type of content. Um, I'm going to be uploading a lot more tornado related things on this channel. So if you want to see more, make sure you give this video a like and you put something in the comment section down below saying that you enjoyed it or something or maybe you want me to do something else. Um, I always take recommendations. Obviously, this is a smaller channel. So um, obviously, I am, <laughs> I'm always free to listen to um, whatever criticism, um, as long as it's nice, that you know I receive. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my youtube channel obviously only if you want to if you like uh, meteorology or weather related type stuff i will see you guys in the next video peace